Yo, 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 tubers. What's up? It's your boy here, Callum, aka Resign. And today I'm here on DC Universe. Now, I haven't been on this game in ages, and I've actually been working on a new loadout because I have been requested to make a new one. And people have been asking, does this still work? And what did you put your SP into? Because my the one I made after that, where I explained what I put my skill points into, um, wasn't actually viewed as much. It probably didn't get out there nearly as much, but basically what i am doing today is i'm going to be making a new one where i go into detail about the loadout now i've been working for the past three days on this loadout checking what is the best uh for actual pvp what is the best for dueling and i'm going to be going through that with you now i found out the best one for both of them and it is this right here right here right now and First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain my skill points. Now, I haven't got a lot of skill points, so um, you guys will do a lot more damage on my artifacts due to the fact that I just don't play this game anymore. But I'm still an OG and I still know what I'm doing. So, I went weapons, I went martial arts. You don't actually need this much. Uh, really, I would put four into it. Yeah, I'll just get the first four to be fair. Other than that, they're not used to, in all honesty. And it's just a waste of SP. I got it just because of the fact I didn't really care to be fair. And that is true honesty. You only need about four, depending on what you're using. Um, just get your triangle. So if you're brawling, then move. Triangle in this. What then? Is that how long I haven't played? They remove triangles? Yeah, they remove triangles. <laughs> well then, that's a bit confusing. See, I don't know any of the trees, but I recommend get your uh, double tap triangle or double hold. Uh, that is my p opinion on it. So, and then I get, I always get the flight one. Again, this isn't actually needed, so it's not the most efficient thing to get, considering that you're going to be doing PvP. Um, and a lot of people get the whirlwind attack or the other thing that spins around and does crowd control. Although, I'm not going to be getting that. Now, stat points. I just went for super powered as mental is a superpower power. And I play control role while I'm in PvP due to the fact that it's a lot better than playing DPS. And then I only put 10 into this one because you're not really going for the crits. If you hit one, you hit one. Wow. But you're not going for them too much. But if you do hit one, you want to hit hard, so I do normally max this one out, so I put 10 and 10. So that's 20 of your XP. And then I put it all into this, damage for superpowers. And it's because the artifacts you're going to be getting are actually the controller ones. So you can actually hold that CC on them and do immense damage towards them. Um, but I've went for the damage superpowers due to the fact I have low. So if you have, I'm going to say about... 280 plus SP I recommend putting a little bit into this and mostly into this uh, so it is worth a shot and this is for PvP guys so do not be using this in PvE it will not work like you want it to it will probably one of the be one of the worst loadouts you've ever used in your life so I've thrown them all into that now let's jump straight into the loadout now so this is how I lay it out. If you guys are used to a layout, stick to it. That is my op opinion on it all. If you're used to a loadout, stick to it. This is what I was used to. Now I put invisibility first as it's just the simple thing. And then reflect pain. You're gonna want you you're gonna want to use this because right now quantum I believe is dominating because of the time bubble. If you can activate this right, you're gonna be surviving that with a lot of health left. Now that a reflect pain is it acts as a shield basically. It's a, it deflects the damage so it's being a shield in a way. And I do use it mostly as a shield not to deflect pain uh, because I like to use it in that way. Now I went for the phantom flames only because of the fact that it reduces the target's damage output and stuns enemies in the control role which we do play. And I, I think that it's very efficient, especially in the PvP meta at this moment in time. And yeah, if you did want to substitute this, if you're versing a healer, I believe it was, yes, this one, Pyrokinesis, uh, Syrokinesis, whatever you want to call it. It is Syro, but I pronounced that wrong. 
Um, if you're fighting a healer, I recommend using this as it does reduce the target's ability to heal and stun. Now, if you are fighting Quantum, you might want to use this also. It does vary. Now, I like to use Terrorize. Now, this is something I actually put in about 10 minutes ago after testing. Because it's a finisher, and you know what finishers are like, it's an instant kill basically after that 35%. And there are loads of things you could replace this for. Like, I used to use Teleconnect Shield. Not Teleconnect Shield. Psychic Empowerment. Was it this? No. It wasn't any of them, actually. In the form of a bubble. Was it this? No. Huh. Thought Bubble. I did use this, actually, when I was dazing enemies. Um, I was dazing, and then I believe I was using Teleconnect Pool. Yes, I was using them too. That was a decent combo, but it wasn't nearly as good as having a finisher, as finishers do help you a lot in the battle, and this finisher is a crowd control finisher. And then I like to put Telekinetic Shield. So, within this one, we actually have three shields. The shield, obviously, just prevents damage. Now, I like to get the Hard Light Shield. If you don't know where to get this, you go to Iconic Powers, and it is right here. So, I use that in my loadout, as everyone uses that because shields right now are very powerful they didn't used to be but they are they truly are so we're going to get into the invisibility as we have invisibility here ambush sleep now this dazes enemies which is highly beneficial for you if you're using uh dazed or anything like that but we do use that we use that in pain blast and pain blast is your main damage source you do like to use this this will be your opening like effect and it is uh, menace is just a weapon buff it's not entirely needed and you don't even need to put the superpowers in but I do like to use bolt barrage now and again although I don't use that indoors due to the fact that I, I just find it unfair because this is a really super like it's powerful this will kill someone it'll do a lot more damage than this and you'll see how much damage this does with my SP and my artifacts so Let's jump straight into the actual rotation. Now, I'm not actually PvPing anyone. I do have a clip of me PvPing someone who was a lot more SP and he had better artifacts than me. I'll just show you my artifacts to prove, and I'm not 100 fully yet. So I have this one, which is my highest level one. I have this, and I have that. Um, I also have these, which these are decently high level not decently high level these are decent level and usable these are the both level zero um, yeah so it, it just goes along now I am not the most powerful so the damage I'm gonna be doing you guys will be doing ten times more if you are mental so I like to open up the battle by actually using the hard light shield and going invisible like this now, the hard light shield will stop you from getting attacked out of invisibility as they could just do an area of effect and it will take you out of it. So, it's best to use the hard light shield before. And then, I like to hit them with a sleep as it dazes them. And then, obviously, open up with this to so get your damage weapon buff. And then, that for the huge damage. Now that is what I like to do so again it is hard light shield invisibility sleep you can use menace if you want and then boom that is your main damage in all honesty it really is and then I like to open up with a few combos preferably get them down and then I want to go for this you don't actually use the finisher but the only bad thing about this finisher is it stops you in your tracks because it's one of these ones but I can't actually move right now not for long but that could easily get them to kill if they time the time bubble very good like so the only way of getting out of that truly is timing it when you're using it right and they have to be below 35% so that is this loadout is very simple it's not the hardest thing in the world to use um, the one that you're going to be seeing me use in the video that I'm going to put up is actually a bit different to that and yeah that is that's the truth on like why the loadouts going to be different because i was testing several loadouts as i did say um i actually haven't checked out the aoe damage i don't believe it's going to do any to be fair 
Yeah, it won't. And then... Ooh, that will though. Um, oh, and the finisher is. So, that's pretty cool. And then obviously you do have the other shields. I recommend just time them when they're using their abilities. And that is the only tip I can really give to that. Uh, I do believe you see me do it in the PvP, but that was again two days ago, I believe. And I wasn't really focusing too much on it. The guy was good, but he wasn't amazing. Um, I can actually try and get someone if he's online. Let me do this. One sec, I can't type. Now, you guys uh, wouldn't know DG personally, but he did help me actually work out and use my loadout in my previous one. Uh, he was a big help. And he, I did give him credit in that video. Um, again, he is like, he's been my friend on this game for God knows how long. Probably for about five years, because we didn't meet uh, obviously in the beta, because that would have been 11 years ago. Um, but I didn't know if he actually played in beta. I never actually asked him. But um, yeah, he was, he's was he been a really good friend of mine. And he's always helped me out and always offered. Um, yeah, he's just been that huge help. And as you could tell, the response he gave me was incredibly fast. And it was just, he was there uh, straight away. So we're going to try to do the fight in here. Um, just tell him. I'm in Watchtower. So I know this is longing out the video. Uh, I don't believe he's here actually at this moment in time. I have a lot of friends actually online. A lot of people did stop playing this game and uh, it is sad to be fair because I, I do love this game but I stopped playing it myself also just due to the fact that it's not the same anymore not for me anyway because uh, I wasn't grinding on this game because it wasn't a grinding game for me uh, I never had to grind for SP I was Earth and I was that for solid six years I'm gonna say I must have been yeah damn that's a lot and it, it is just at the point where i got bored of the game because i wanted to do other things and i was always investing insane amounts of money in this when it wasn't actually my money so i do regret because i probably put in about eight thousand pound into this game which it's not fun <laughs> especially when it's not my money like damn do you know what i'm a versailles armor this guy is a nature player. He wanted me to make a nature loadout, and I probably will be switching towards that. Three, so we can two, test it out on him first. One. Fight. <laughs> yeah. So as you can tell, like this loadout is heavily like based on shielding. They can't do nothing to me at this moment in time. Look, and he's a PvP player. I know him as a PvP player. Um, so yeah, the only reason I do ever activate that without um, any shield active is when I've knocked them down. But um, I'm not really taking this duel seriously, so do not actually compare me on this duel, please. Oh, you see, I, 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 he was leaving anyway. That's why he stopped mid-fight either way. So that wasn't a true fight, uh, he must have went offline. I would like to inspect him to show you guys his PvP, but the amount of damage I was doing you can tell he was in PvP because of his toughness. Um, and I probably will be cutting out the video from here until when DG actually appears, just due to the fact I do not want you guys waiting too long. So, yeah. Okay guys, 
So, I am back. DG has just messaged me that he's here. And, um, yeah. So, basically, I'm just going to message him to not fight me. Oh. Alright, cool. So, um, yeah. He's finally here and he's ready to help. Um, I believe he's going to go in PvP. PvP 101 and you can look at his artifacts 140, 140, 146 and every oh these are quite low to be fair but just look at how much more better they are than mine either way so um yeah this is actually what is happening so I'm going to be showing you Three, the loadout rotation two, one, so fight. now I'm going to do hardly any damage because this is DG And that is just the whole like fact. It's DG and I'm not gonna be doing much damage just due to the fact that he's a beast. And that's just how it's gonna roll. I mean But this is what I will be doing with my loadout. I'm gonna be rotating through my shields. Um obviously trying not to spam them all at once so I can always have one up whenever I go into invisibility uh, as that is what you're meant to do with this loadout to be fair um, I don't normally use these combos when I'm fighting I do like to um, actually go ahead and throw out some um, one two bangs with um, actual the whole point of having martial arts and then um, I don't know how the finisher is going to work to be fair but you can tell the amount of damage it does compared to everything else and then we'll just finish him with you our finisher win. so that is actually the thing that you'll be mostly finishing your doors with just because of the fact that it is probably the strongest thing to finish as it stuns them puts them on the floor while it's stunning you so unless they break out of it and do an attack it shouldn't affect you but um yeah this is how the door would really go this is how the door would like fully go if it was me and him um Three, you, 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 two, you'll see one fight because this is just how it is So obviously I can hold up for a bit, and yeah, that that is literally it. He would just dominate me due to the fact he he is a better player than me. In all honesty, take it back five years, and um, yeah, he, he it would have been a fair fight. I mean, it, it would have been good. So um. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you do make sure to leave a like and if you do want more videos like this leave the power down below and I will be making a Tutorial not a tutorial but a loadout video on that and I should be buying member and be able to do PvE ones soon so if you do want that please don't forget to smash the sub button Please don't forget to smash the like button and enjoy the rest of your day Peace out